Hello boys and girls and parents. I want to come to you with the second part of the topic one online assessment answer key. Now let me just remind you that again the goal of these videos is to really have you do the work and then you can check your work against mine. If you have it right, great. Pat on the back, that means you understand what's going on. If you have it incorrect, well let's learn from that mistake. Let's not just sit there and be like, oh I can't do it. Let's, let's see if you can figure out where you faltered. So look at your work, compare it to mine. And learning from those mistakes is a valuable tool, boys and girls. We do a lot of things in life, and most of the time we're learning from things we've already erred on. And that's how we get better. We learn from our mistakes. We don't make the same mistakes twice. Or in my case, 10,000 times. Take a look at this. It says, Louisa has four yards of fabric. She uses two-fifths yard of fabric to make a doll dress. How many doll dresses can Louisa make with the fabric? Choose the number line that models or that the, the, choose the number line model that shows the answer taking a look at this first thing I noticed she has four yards so that means in all Louisa is using four yards of fabric now what I noticed first of all all of these have four yards so so far all of these answers are good now she's using two-fifths of a yard for each doll dress two-fifths of a yard I go through here this yard is broken up to one, two, three, four. Oh, that's fifths. One fifth, two fifth, three fifths, four fifths, five fifths. Okay, that makes sense. Is it continue to break evenly? One fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths. All right. Then we have we'd have ten fifths there. One fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, fifteen fifths. Okay, so that's all broken into fifths. But it looks like in this example, with these arcs here, she's using one whole yard to make a dress. So Louisa can only make four dresses but she's using two-fifths of a yard she's not using one whole yard so a is not correct because she's using one whole yard we're using a part of a yard this next one let's take a look one-fifth two-fifths three-fifths then one-fifth two-fifths then one two three-fifths well it doesn't say she's using two-fifths for one and three-fifths for another so this can't be right this is one-fifth two-fifth three-fifths that's four-fifths here I can even label these above if I wanted to might be a better strategy that's also four fifths that's well you know what no it's two fifths let's take a look one two that's two fifths one two that's two fifths two fifths two fifths I think I found a winner well obviously if all threes are wrong but again I can justify now that each one of these I want to call these little arches are two fifths long she needs two fifths per dress D is the winner let's take a look at number seven Find the quotient, use the diagram to help. Enter your answer in a box. Well, let's just take a look first here, and it says 3 fourths divided by 1 twelfth. All right, we know that the first fraction stays the same. We take the reciprocal of the second one, which in this case is 12 firsts. I'm going to use a little cross reduction. I see that 4 and 12 have a common factor of 4. 4 goes into 4 once. 4 goes into 12 three times. 3 times 3 gives me an answer of 9. So that means 9 twelfths will fit into 3 fourths. Remember, we're thinking about multi uh, division. We think about multiplication, figuring out how many times this goes into this. Or I should say 1 twelfth goes into this. We're multiplying by that reciprocal. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So there are 9 twelfths in 3 fourths. So I'm going to put an answer of 9. All right. Pretty straightforward there. This next one, a little bit long. I actually have it on two slides. I can recall this question from last year being missed multiple times. I also know that this question was actually used on a fifth grade envision test last year. So we have multiple exposures to this. It says Jody paints one wall in her bedroom. She paints the bottom three fourths of the wall purple and the rest pink. So the whole wall is eight and a half feet tall. She paints three-fourths of that, three-fourths of the eight and a half purple. Which equation represents the height of the purple part of the wall? I think I might just solve this. We have three-fourths of eight and a half. That has three-fourths of eight and a half. That has three, oh wait, that has two different answers though. This is three-fourths of ten and a half. Now remember, we're talking about the height, not the width. I need to now solve this. So I need three-fourths of eight and a half. Three-fourths I'm comfortable with. That just stays three-fourths. Of means multiply. 
we need to convert. I have eight groups with two in each group. So we figure out how many we have. We have 16 plus the one extra that doesn't have a group. So that gives me 17 halves. No cross reduction. Eight here. I believe 17 times 3, that's 21. That gives me 51 ace. Notice, neither of these are 51. They've converted it to a mixed number. 8 times what gives me close to 1? 6. I'm going to bring the denominator with me. It just keeps following me around like a lost puppy. If I have 6 groups of 8, I have 48 things. Well, I need to group things. I need to group 51 in groups of 8. Well, I have some left over that make a full group, so 51 minus 8 gives me... Three. A is the correct answer. Which is the best estimate for the area of the entire wall? Okay, now let's focus on the area of the entire wall. And the key word here is estimate. We are not going to use these exact numbers of 10 and 1 third and 8 and a half. Let's think about 8 and a half. Let's make that a compatible number or friendly number as they sometimes call them. 8 and a half is approximately, let me change those to, these are approximations, is approximately 9 and 10 and a third. A third is less than a half, so we're going to round this down to 10. 9 times 10, because we want to do area. Remember, area equals length times width. And I think we had a problem earlier in this assessment that had area. So we have 9 times 10 gives us 90, 90 square feet. Let's look at this next one. Which equation represents the area of the entire wall? Okay, now, it looks like they all have a 10 and a third times 8 and a half. 10 and a third times, okay, that doesn't help me. But going back to my estimate, remember I estimated up, estimated down a little bit, and I got an answer of 90 as an estimate. This gives me answer of 72, no thanks. This gives me answer of 80, no thanks. This gives me 87 and 5, 6, 10, 105, excuse me, and 2 fifths. Well, let's convert 10 and 1 third times 8 and a half. This gives me 31 thirds times 17 halves. Some ugly numbers to multiply. Not happy, but let's, let's push through it. 3 times 2 is 6. 31 times 17. That's 7. That is 21. Good practice on math fluency here. Put the 0. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. That gives me 7, 2, and 5. 527. How many times does 6 go into that? Well, I definitely know it's not 100 because that would be over because that would mean 6 goes into 5 one whole time. But let's just double-check the math here. 8, tw oops, 827. There's that mistake I was talking about. 527 divided by 6 does not go into 5, but it will go into 52 8 times, which gives me 48. I subtract, that's 47. 6 times, I believe, 7 gives me 42. That's 5 left over. I can't make another group of 6, so I have 87 and 5, 6. There is my winning answer. Which of the following explains whether the answer in Part C is reasonable? No, 72 and a half is close, but that's that's not right because we want this. We want to get to which one's reasonable to this. So 72 is too small. 105 we found out was too big. 80 and 1, 6 too small. Because 90 is close to 87 and 5, 6. If we were to estimate 87 and 5, 6 in the nearest 10, we would estimate it to be 90. C is the correct answer. But you see how all four of those questions came back to that original illustration of the girl painting the wall and painting three-fourths of the wall, three-fourths of the bottom of the wall. So we're talking about, remember, I talked about the height. We're talking about the height, not the width. All right, let's go on to question nine. Which expression has the same value as four divided by two-fifths? You know, I'm just going to figure out what is four divided by two-fifths. Well, four as a whole number is four, as a fraction is four over one. We want to figure out divide by two-fifths. We're thinking about repeat addition here. So we're going to multiply. I like to do cross reduction. Uh, two and four have a common factor of two. Two goes into two once. Two goes into four twice. Five times two, ten. All right. We have to find which one of these gives me an answer of ten. Wait, this problem looks like this. And it says which expression. It's not plural. 
meaning it doesn't have more than one answer. So this has to be the correct answer. Moving on, see how sometimes if you're fluent with this stuff, you can move through quickly. That's where you have a good understanding of it. Question 10. Now, I don't have the drop down, but I do know what it says. A pizza restaurant has six and two thirds cups of flour. Each batch of pizza dough uses five and one fourth. Use the drop down menus to find how to, uh, how to find the best estimate. Choose, we want to use compatible numbers. So, compatible. Compatible. I'm going to spell this wrong. Compatible, I believe. Choose what for 63 and two thirds? Now, here's the trick part. We got five here, or three there, we have five there. I know we're going this into this. How many times this goes into this? Now, I know that five goes into any number that goes that ends in a zero or a five. I am going to then estimate this to be 65 and this to be five. If I thought about that, let's see here. 65 divided by five gives me one, which is five. That's a one. Bring down the five. And 65 goes in, or five goes in 15 three times. What's the best estimate? 13. Again, I haven't looked at these answers beforehand. I'm just fluent. I have a, I'm confident with what I'm doing. That's the only reason why I can plow through these guys. It, it really requires you to practice, practice, practice. And finally, number 11. Ashton has 28 and a half feet of wrapping paper. Wrapping paper. Blah, blah, blah. He uses two and three eighths feet of wrap paper to wrap each gift. How many gifts can he wrap? Now, this reminds me, going back, of the young girl making the doll. All right? Now, let's take a look. There's no number line. So we have 28 and a half. That's our dividend. That's what we're going to break up into smaller groups. And we are dividing that by two and three eighths. All right. I can't do it this way. I must do some converting to improper's. 28 doubled gives me 56. 56 plus 1 gives me 57 halves. I'm going to keep dividing here because sometimes we make a mistake if we don't. 2 times 8 is 16. 16 plus 3 is 19. We go 19 thirds, I believe. Now we are dividing, so I need to figure out repeat addition. How many of this goes into this? Repeat addition tells me to multiply. We multiply by the divisor or the reciprocal divisor, which gives me times 3 19 now again I am good with my math facts I know that 19 is a factor of 57 19 goes into 19 once 19 goes into 57 three times all right am I right with that 56 uh, 56 plus 157 57 halves 16 17, 18 19 let's see here Wow something tells me I did something wrong because my answer the way it is right here Nine halves. Wait, that gives me like four and a half. Why is my answer not up there? What did I do wrong? Do I panic? No. I say, hey, did something wrong. Let's go back and revisit what I did. I'm going to start the problem all over. We have 28 and a half feet of wrapping paper. We are using chunks that are two and three eighths of a foot, or two and three eighths feet long for each. How many get, now, if I just thought about this, 2 goes into 28 roughly 14 times. So let's see what I did wrong here. Did I multiply wrong? 28 times 2, that's 16, that's 1. That is 56, correct? 56 plus 1 gives me 57. We have 57 halves. Check, check. Divided by 2 and 3 eighths. 8 times 2 is 16, right? 16, 17, 18, 19, that's 19 thirds. So far, so good. I must take the reciprocal. 57 halves times 3 nineteenths. Let me just multiply this the old-fashioned way. Maybe I was going too fast here. I was getting in a rhythm, and that happens, and I just made a mistake. So 19 doubled is 38. 57 times 3. That's 21. 15, 16, 17. That's 171. Okay, so I have to do a little division here. 171 divided by 38. Let's see if I can figure this out. 171 divided by 38. Let's see. This goes 0. This goes 0. How many times will 38 go in here? Does it go into this? No, it doesn't go into this. It doesn't go into this. Let's see here. 
38 into, let's see here. Well, it's got to be, what, 5? No. Only 5 is like 4. They're somewhere on 4, so I'm still not right. What am I doing wrong? What could I possibly be doing wrong here? Ashen has 28 and a half feet, so here's his wrapping paper. 28 and a half feet. He uses 2 and 3 eighths, so 2 and 3 eighths, 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 to equal almost to this. So 2 and 3 eighths. So what do we have? How many gifts can Ashen wrap? We have 28 and a half. How many times does 2 and 3 eighths go into 28 and a half? What can we be doing wrong here? This still has to be 57 and a half divided by 16, 17, 18. That's 19. Ah, I know what I did. 19 eighths. I was taking this and making it. Ah, look at how easy that is. Come on, Scott. 57 halves times 8 over 19. Yes, love it, love it, love it. That's 1. That's 3. That's 1. That is 4. That gives me an answer of 12. 12. I love that I was making mistakes. It shows you guys that you don't have to get down when you're making mistakes. You just got to keep persevering. If my answer is not up there, I go and solve it again. Oh, awesome. So hopefully this helps you out. You get to see my mistakes. Get to see how careless my mistakes were. Just rushing through stuff. Didn't see that. I didn't see that three eighths. I was kind of taking that three and making the denominator. I should have kept the eight, which I take the reciprocal. Yes. All right. Hope this helps. Have a great night. Take care.